Oh dear God, it's me, Cal Stone. In case you haven't heard, everybody's calling me the genius in a leather jacket. Can you imagine? Oh, sure you can, I mean, you're God and well, I'm me, <laughs> Cal Stone. <sighs> I'm very sad today, God, very sad. It's because of what happened to Emma. She's catatonic now, God, and well, it happened the night of my first pig art opening. I mean, doesn't that just figure? I mean, any other night, but I don't want to talk about me and my problems now, God. I'm, I'm really worried about Emma. The pandas from China said that, well, that she's feeling guilty and she needs to learn to love herself or, or else she'll stay that way forever. I don't know anything about pandas, God, but something in my heart says that they're right. Emma had a really bad night, God. A really bad night. She got drunk. She did cocaine. She found out that I supposedly got the local librarian pregnant, which I personally doubt, but it could be true. I mean, I, I'm not bragging or anything, God. It's just that, well, most women, most men, heck, almost everybody just kind of finds me irresistible. <laughs> but enough about my problems. I'm really concerned about Emma. Oh, yeah. Turns out that she was supposedly raped by Huntley Fox. <laughs> God, I hate Huntley Fox. I wish he was dead. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, I'd say it goes into history as a classic bad day. I mean, almost as bad as mine. I mean, my show was completely ruined thanks to Emma deciding not to say no for the first time in her life. Here I go again. I don't want to talk about me anymore. I'm really concerned about Emma. See, God, it's like this. I figure that I've got something that Emma really needs. See, I love myself a lot. <laughs> and I thought, well, that maybe I could ask you to come down and take some of my love for me and give it to her. I mean, not a lot or anything. I, I wouldn't want to be a wreck, you know, but <laughs> just, just a little so that it might help. See, God, I decided long ago never to walk in anyone's shadow. If I fail, <laughs> if I succeed, at least I lived as I believe. <laughs> and no matter what they take from me, they can't take away my dignity. Because the greatest love of all is happening to me, I found the greatest love of all inside of me. Oh, Cal, you remember our anthem. Oh, of course I do, Mother. Oh, Mother. <sighs> what is to become of me? Uh, oh, and what's to become of Emma? Mm, don't worry, darling. Everything will be all right. I have good news. Well, I have good news and I have bad news. The bad news. My dear sweet Jack Yang was killed this morning. Hit on the head with the lid of a trash can. Oh, Mother, not again. I'm afraid so. It's just so tragic. I tried to save him, but, oh, he was too far gone. A subdural hematoma, I'm afraid. Truly, I'm beside myself. Just like poor Mohib. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mother. What's the good news? Oh, I almost forgot. Huntley Fox did not rape Emma. <laughs> what? Well, that's great. But wait a minute, Mother. He confessed to it. He said that Emma was asking for it and that she wanted a real man. <laughs> like, I'm not. <laughs> Why would Huntley Fox confess to something that he didn't do? Well, I'm not really sure. But I think it was because he wanted to hide his warm, sweet, caring, gentle side in front of all those people who think that he's nothing but a slimy, better-off, dead loser. <laughs> yes, I'm sure that that's it. Well, that makes sense, I guess. But, but how do you know that he didn't do it? Because he told me. <laughs> Mother, how do you know that he was telling the truth? Well, according to Huntley, there was a witness. 
Apparently, my dear sweet Jack Yang was there at the very time the rape was supposedly occurring. Unfortunately, we will never be able to ask Jack Yang the truth. Oh, God. Oh, Cal, I miss him so much. Oh, and Cal, there's one more thing I have to tell you. What is it, Mother? I think I'm falling in love with Huntley Fox. What? Oh, God, Mother, no. Well, yeah. You can't be serious. He even if he didn't rape Emma, he's still such an asshole. Sorry, God. It's only because you don't know him, Cal, and I thought I told you better than that. Don't say asshole. Shh. Oh, I'm sorry, Mother. I will never accept Huntley Fox. Do you understand? Never. I mean, my God, how could, how could you fall in love with someone on the same day that your fiancé was killed? <laughs> well, since we're asking hard to answer questions, Cal, why don't you tell Mother why it is that Cynthia von Stratton is telling everyone in this town that she's pregnant with your child. No. I want an answer, Mother, and I want it now. And so do I, Cal. Oh, Mother, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what's come over me. I'm sorry. Let's not fight. The truth is, I don't know why these things just keep happening to me. I'm just extraordinarily in touch with my emotions, I guess. You see... Being me, it's hard to resist all the men who fall in love with me, and, well, I guess I do enjoy the attention. Well, I most certainly could understand that, Mother. <laughs> but Huntley Fox... No, oh, let's not discuss it any further. Well, okay. Look, Mother, I've got to go. I mean, I've got to go see Emma. Maybe she doesn't know that she wasn't raped. And maybe when I tell her... She might wake up. Mm, I understand, but I really doubt that Beverly and Clark are going to let you see her. And by the way, did you happen to notice what Beverly had on the other day? Really, this woman goes to the opening of a gallery in this completely sweaty getup. You know, I think that that woman should model Excuse for the me, fashion mother. don't page and glamour. Honest to God, hello. she's the quality. Hello, hello, mother. Okay. Right. We talk about yes. me right. for one go. minute? Yes, please. My problem? All right, yes. I need to go and see Emma. All right, well, you do that if you think that it will help. But I want an answer about Cynthia von Stratton first, right here, in front of the eyes of God, and all of my sweet, adoring fans. Excuse me, Mother, but I believe that these are my fans. <laughs> Just answer the question, Carol. Honestly, Mother, I, I don't know. I mean, it, it could have happened, I guess. She's a librarian. I thought she would have used something. Oh, what have I always told you? Never rely on a librarian for that sort of thing. Well, I will go have a talk with Cynthia von Slutton myself, and I'll get this matter taken care of. Cool. Thanks, Mother. <laughs> I would have, but well, you know, she, she's a big drag. Now are you ready to go? Okay, Mother. Oh.